my name is Gabby, also known as Mrs. Pigeon, and welcome to my first ever haul! <laughs> In the words of Jon Snow, winter is coming. Therefore, I've got a load of warm, snug, cozy things to wear, and I thought I'd show them to you. So I got these clothes from four main places. The website Wish, the website eBay, the website Depop, and the shop New Look. I am not sponsored by anybody here. If I was, I'd be much happier. <laughs> So let's begin! The first one is actually the one I'm wearing! I got this oversized cream jumper because not only is it a bonus because it's oversized but it's also really thick and cream is just really stylable. What I really like about it is you probably can't tell but it's got these little bits of what look like strands of tinsel but they give this sort of glittery glowy effect which the camera probably doesn't pick up but it looks really nice in person. The next thing I've got is one of my favourite things out of everything I've bought. How lovely is this, okay? First of all, the ombre, enough said. Second of all, I wanted it quite big, again, because I like oversized jumpers. However, this came up as quite fitted, and I actually prefer it that way. Next up is another jumper that I really, really liked, and it's this one. It's got a really nice rolled part here, and I really like the pattern, which looks like either half a daisy, or a daisy that's pointed upwards. I also like, <coughs> excuse me. I also like how the sleeves are really thick, the next jumper I got really reminds me of the YouTuber Dan is not on fire, and it's this one. I really like moon stuff. I just have to think of moons, I like what they represent, I like the name Luna, and <laughs> I really like this. The only comment I have to say though is that it's got really weird material on the inside. It's not scratchy or soft, it's just rough, and it's supposed to be like a sporty jumper, but I got it because, I mean, look at it, it's really cute. The final jumper I got is this one. It's perfect. I really like this. I don't know what it's called. Like the bumpy edges. I also, again, like the knitted pattern on the front. I love the colour. Like, that. if this doesn't scream Christmas at you, then you don't know what Christmas is. The next thing I got is really weird, but I really like it. And it's this. It's like a bib for goths. No, it's, it's really good. It looks amazing under like a jumper or another t-shirt. I think this completes an outfit really well. Like if you if you think that your outfit's a bit basic or boring, just just chuck this on underneath, and people will be like, "Wow!" The next thing I got is an adorable blouse, and this is it. Look at it! It's got the little bow. It's got this little hole that shows a bit of cheekiness. It's got the collar. Oh, and let's not forget the little puffy sleeves. I really like it. I think it's really cute, and I think this under a jumper would work so well. The next thing I got is a really cute little shirt, and here it is. It's got a really nice collar and it's got these little square details on it. I don't know how to explain it. It's got pockets on the front, buttons down the middle, and it's also got these really puffy sleeves. But one of the things that makes this wonderful is that it's actually from the YouTuber Marcia Bazognin, as in the cutie pie Marcia. The next thing I got is so cute, I can't even handle it. And it's this! It's a little black winter dress. It's perfect really. I mean it's got this little lace detail around the collar, it's got purple buttons, it's got the lace detail on the pockets and it's got this really nice fleecy type material. It's really thick and warm. The only comment I'd have to say on this is that it's a little bit too short so this is the sort of thing that you would have to wear leggings or tights or even a pair of shorts underneath. Which brings me to my next item. I got these knitted shorts. I think they're a nice thing to wear around the house that are just cosy I usually don't sleep with much on because I get too hot, but then when I get up, I'm freezing because I get out of bed and it's really cold. So this is like a good compromise. It's small, but it's good for winter, if that makes sense. And also, I could wear this under my little black dress. The next two items I'm about to show are actually outerwear. The first one being this denim jacket. It is adorable. It's got puffy sleeves, again, with buttons. It's done up with poppers. It's got these little pockets here and then these random like pocket lids and it looks really good done up as it does undone. The next thing I got is this coat. What I really like about this is its puffiness and I really like the collar because I love collars and again it's one of those things that looks really nice done up as it does undone and it's got this really smooth material on the inside and the outside and it, it's a lot smoother than it looks. It's really soft. It's almost like silk. The first pair of bottoms that I got are these leggings. Now these are all size leggings. These are so soft and stretchy and comfortable you have no idea. And I really like the pattern because 
Once again, it's got neutral colours in it, so it can be styled quite easily. I mean, I could wear it with this. Like this. The next thing that I got is these jeans. I really, really like ripped jeans. I think they have this sort of edgy, interesting look to them. And also, it's got these little, I don't even know, like just ripped all stuff at the bottom. It reminds me of a scarecrow, to be honest. But I really like them. The final bottoms that I got is this pair of jeans. It's got rips in, but they're slightly different rips because they're more like slashes than they are holes. I did have a pair of cream jeggings, but they don't fit me anymore. So I got these to kind of replace them, and I'm glad I did. To finish off my haul, I got five pairs of shoes. The first pair of shoes I got, I actually got in the summer, but I got them for winter. And they're these. I really like these. I don't have anything edgy apart from my black creepers with the studded spikes. I really like the design of the shoe. It kind of reminds me of a brogue, but I just love the big chunky heel. Like, I think that's really good. The next pair of shoes I got are actually boots, and they're these bad boys. I mean, there's not much I can say about these, apart from the fact that I think these are perfect boots. They're the best boots I've ever owned in my entire life. They are really comfy and really fitted, and also I really like this detail. I've actually worn them like that, but they look nice either way. The next shoes that I got, I don't think are supposed to be winter shoes, but I got them for the occasion anyway, and that's these. I really like slip on shoes. My feet get hot all the time and then when I want to be comfy and I'm out somewhere like at college, I just like being able to slip my shoes off. I like that kind of power I have over my feet. I really like them and they'll be very good to wear in the summer as well. They've got these little flappy bits that kind of look like garden fences. They've got these little golden studs. The colour is really nice and neutral again. And I really like boho stuff. I may or may not have got another pair of creepers. I did. This is it. These were really cheap and they are made of cheap material but I really like the pattern. I love floral stuff. I think floral stuff again is really adaptable to any time of the year. The final pair of shoes I got are so amazing I don't think they're even ready for it. Ta -da! I love these to pieces. They kind of look like bowling shoes but I don't care. They are brogues then they have this little layer of black rubber then they have this other layer of what looks like a picnic basket braided on the side and then they've got this mini platform thing going on and I really really love these so much I just love all the layers on them I love the white with the black lace and the black rubber bit they are beautiful and that men and gentle ladies is the final piece of my haul So thank you for watching this haul. It was quite long, but that's because it was quite big. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then whack on a like. If you'd like to share it to your buddies, then whack it on the internet. And if you'd like to see the rest, then you can subscribe to The Pigeon's Nest by whacking the subscribe button. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Woo! Woo!